everyone, this is Emma. Welcome to another video course. In this video, I will show you how I'm going to practice uh, arpeggios that you know system. here again just um, copies the melody pattern the first note to the left the rest to the right because every single note is higher than the previous note when we're going down every single note to the left because it's lower than previous note um, when we imagine sounds, just want to remind you that we still keep uh, illusion of glissando between notes. Mm -hmm. So if you imagine cellos, you imagine this way. Uh, now the wrist movement again just uh, repeats your musical idea. So if this left, then we to the left. Every time here, you keep this shape of your wrist and don't turn it back when you play with your thumb. This one, because that would break the line. positions and as you know this going to be one position and these are others. I'm choosing a second finger to move my elbow. So I'm playing note, move wrist and move elbow. Wrist elbow. Wrist elbow. When I go down I choose a third finger to move my elbow. I'm doing with my left hand. I'm moving my feet, I'm moving my elbow, and I'm playing second note with my third finger. And when I go down, I move my elbow here. If you do all the movements correctly, that will really help you to improve velocity and the most important accuracy in your pinches. So let's do this. And I'm gonna skip this stage when we imagine separate hands. I'm gonna imagine both hands. Um, please be sure that you're able to imagine both hands in your head uh, with movements. And I'm gonna play it without any intonation, just following my imagination and making correct movements of wrist and elbow. Your hands are relaxed. Um, 
So our next step, I'm gonna play with uh, intonation and I'm gonna get a weight right before playing. both hands in timber with harmony and again I just want to remind you please keep um, imagination of movement um, in your head when you imagine notes in timber and harmony with the same crescendos and the same movements so I'm gonna do this now Okay. okay, after this I'm playing with intonation and mood. between your elbow and torso because every time you move your elbows you kind of uh, get them closer to your torso so something like this so make sure that you're not, you're not stuck over here when you're going up so this is better for position change now we're gonna imagine um, in timbre harmony and dynamics you can choose piano Okay. you keep uh, illusion of glissando when you imagine notes in sound texture you imagine it with movement and with glissando between notes it's so noisy tonight <laughs> think there's a party going on somewhere <laughs> I don't know if this camera catch this sound it's quite noisy <laughs> Okay, so I imagine this again when we play, we use intonation and weight. color this 
sound uh, with harmony, I instantly feel like it changes the way I intonate sounds while I'm playing. And harmony really changes the way you intonate sounds. Okay, so now we're going forward and we're going to imagine in sound texture, harmony and we choose piano. lesson with scales but actually after this stage you can try to play with different articulations like toccata speech which is much more interesting here than in scales <laughs> remember in scales we just go by second up and by second down so in arpeggios there are third third and fourth so basically this is how every arpeggio is going to be structured third and fourth some texture and musical speech. one motif and the main interval in this motif is the last interval which is fourth so when we go up it's going to be three three and fourth the main interval which makes it very very easy to emphasize because as you know fourth is uh, full of energy it's like a call to action, so it's quite easy. When we're going down, main interval is going to be third. Okay, now you can definitely hear. I can never understand Chinese. <laughs> it's like blah 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 for me. <laughs> Though I know some words in Chinese already, but I would never, I would never start learning Chinese. For me, it's so annoying. <laughs> I'd rather speak English, really. <laughs> okay. So, where was I? Okay, so we basically, this is one motif and this is my little. <laughs> there is a there is a ballet studio right across um, 
this music school. So I think that, that these are teachers of, of this ballet school. So they have finished their work today. Quite happy. Bye! Bye! <laughs> yeah, so they should stop very soon. They always do this. <laughs> okay, bye bye. See you tomorrow. <laughs> All right, that was like with a break. <laughs> so I'm gonna make um frozen. Introduction, 
with every single form, with every single emotional image. Okay, so let's make it quite uh, exciting. Always feel this pulsation while playing. <clears throat> Confident expression. <laughs> I know you're not gonna play arpeggios uh, on the stage, but still, it is exercise for training something, for practicing something. So let's do this. So you imagine sounds uh, in sound timber, harmony, dynamics, balance. You make <coughs> sorry. You make full phrasing. It's in the form, emotional image. Make it in time. Then express it through artistry. Get a weight and start playing. So basically, that's it. <laughs> I'm 
talking because I'm singing while playing and started um, feeling um, what I wanted to say start playing in this tempo that allows you to feel this, feel this sense of artistry in every single space between notes so for you that would be it might be quite slow first so let's make it slow very helpful for you and if you have any questions just go below leave the comment and I really encourage you to to pass all piano system online video course uh, first then you can understand everything that I just told you here um, because without this that would be just like huh? what? <laughs> what she's talking about okay so see you in my next video. Bye-bye.